class. In this video, I'll show you how to do number seven on your chapter six APLI homework. Um, so the question started that the following graph shows the daily market for wine uh, when the tax on seller is set at zero dollar per bottle, per bottle. Suppose government want to institute a tax of five dollar eighty cents per bottle to be paid by seller. So to uh, hint, no, this is a very important message over here. So hint to see the impact of the tax enter the value of tax in the tax on seller field and move the green line to the after tax equilibrium by adjusting the value in the quantity field. Okay, so we're gonna put $5.80 over here. Okay, now once you put the $5.80, your supply curve will move and go into a new equilibrium. Now the next part, the next section, uh, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna move this green line to this new equilibrium. So the green line um, is right now at 50 quantity. Our quantity at this point, the equilibrium is at 230. So move this one all the way to 230. Yeah, there, 230. There. Okay. And then next, then enter zero in the tax tax on seller field. You should see a tax wedge wedge between the price uh, the price buyer pays and the price seller receive. So next, we're gonna put zero over here. All right, so here we go. So now when the price is turned to zero, at quantity of 230, the price the buyer pays will be $30, and the price the uh, supplier the seller receive will be 2420. 2420. So they put the information over here. So after tax, uh, the quantity per, the total quantity per bo of, of bottle, that will be 230 bottles. Um, the price buyer pays is $30. And then the price seller receive will be twenty four twenty. Now, um, before tax, so let's go back, or just click on this point over here. This point, right here. So this is our before tax equilibrium. We have quantity two fifty and a price twenty five. So put twenty five, or two fifty for quantity, and then twenty five for the price buyer pays and twenty five for for the price seller pays. Now the reason why they're both 25 for before tax because because before tax, whatever is has been paid by the by the buyer will be all given to the seller. So the before tax, the price buyer pays equal to the, the price seller receive. So 25 each. Now uh, next part of the question, um, we need to know the tax burden. So the dollar per bottle by the tax paid by buyers and tax paid by sellers. So before tax, um, buyers pays 25 dollars. And the after tax the buyer pays thirty dollars, so the price change for buyer is five dollars. That's the that's the burden of the tax the buyer pays, and then for seller, before tax seller received twenty five dollars, and the after tax seller received twenty four twenty. So the the burden is on sellers is just eighty cents. That's the difference between how much you pay and how much you receive. And then next, let's find our elasticity. So elasticity. Um, now guys, what you wanna do, let's make a table. So price and quantity. So let's take our price, let's take our demand first. So for demand, when the price is two dollar fifty when the price is twenty-five dollars, that's how much buyer pays before tax. So price twenty-five dollars, our quantity is two fifty. And then when the price becomes thirty dollars over here. So thirty dollar tax, a uh, thirty dollar price. Our quantity become two thirty. So to look for the price elasticity, let's do uh, the change in Q. So change in quantity, and then average quantity, and then percentage change in Q. The next one is change in price, and then average price. And then percentage change in price. The last one is the elasticity of demand. Okay, now let's move a little wider so you can see which one is which. Okay, so the change in Q, uh, we're gonna do equal sign and then quantity, let's do 250 minus 230 to give you 20, and then average of the quantity. So equals to um, parentheses 250 plus 230, and then divided by two. 
percentage change in Q. I'm going to do 20 divided by 240. That's your percentage change in Q. And then for change in price, um, this one equals to 25 minus uh, 30. And then the average of the T. So let's do equal sign parentheses 25 plus 30. <coughs> yes. Um, and then the percentage. Oh, that's wrong. Divided by 2. Okay. And the percentage change in P equals to 5 divided by 27.5. Alright, and last one, elasticity of demand equals to your percentage change in quantity divided by your percentage change in price. The answer is 0 0.458. Or if you go on the list, uh, 0 0.46 is the closest answer. And then next, let's do, uh, let's do supply. So don't 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 erase this table. We're gonna use the same table. And then this, the good thing about Excel is that every time you're putting a formula in there, it'll keep the formula in the, in in the spreadsheet. And then all you gotta do is just change the input price, so in, the input information. So um, when the price is twenty five dollars right here, price twenty five dollars, uh, sellers want to sell two hundred fifty. So we we'll do twenty five two fifty. And then next. When the price is 2420, that's how much seller receive. So quantity become 230. Let's change that 2420. Now by press enter, I'm gonna change the information on this table. And then this el elasticity of demand will change automatically. Okay? So press enter. Now the elasticity of demand becomes 2.56. So that's our elasticity. So 2.56. Okay, that's the answer for this part. And then if you compare um, for buyers, their elasticity is less than one. We we'll call this inelastic. And then they're gonna pay five dollars for the tax. For sellers, their elasticity is two point five six, so they are elastic and they pay only eighty cents for the tax. So the tax burden falls more heavily on the more burn on more on the less elastic side of the of, of the marketplace. Because buyer are inelastic, they pay a bigger part of the tax. Okay, so let's grid it now, see how we do. Uh, check, check, and check, okay. So we got it right. All right, so this is how we do number seven on the chapter six, Aplia. So if you have any question or need some more clarity, send me an email and reply to you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you very much.